Hello everybody, in this final video demo, I would like to demonstrate how an origami style creation such as this that is made out of flattened quad pieces can be created from an original nerves object such as this. I will also show how the quad base creation can be labeled for assembling from individual quad pieces such as this. Okay, let's start. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that all the individual surfaces has been joined. And once that's done, we can do the first creation of mesh object from this form here. We can do so by clicking on this icon or by typing mesh at the command prompt. Okay, the first matching can be pretty dense as it's not going to be the final output. Okay, so I think I want to set it to be somewhere here and click OK. And maybe I want to hide the original. Okay, so now we got this mesh and we're going to create a better mesh with nicer topology using the quad remesh which is part under the sub d toolbar is this icon over here okay so i'm going to click on this select object to quad mesh enter and you'll be prompted with this window which allows you to click the result okay basically there are two main way of um creating the mesh is either by using the edge length or the quad count. Personally, I will prefer to use a quad count because it allows me to control the number of flat pieces better. So I think let's just maybe set this to 100 and see how it looks like. And you can click the preview. And you might want to click the height input object so you can see the result better. Okay, so 100 quad count with adaptive size uh, seems quite okay okay uh, as this only a demo I, i'm not going to do a lot of fine tuning so assuming that i'm happy with this i can click okay and let's just hide the first mesh okay so now we have this and we need to unroll this and flatten it into individual pieces however this cannot be done while it's uh, in a mesh format so we need to convert this into nerves okay to do that the command prompt type to nerves and then select object okay delete input okay yes okay so now it's converted to nerves and now we can unroll this and flatten the individual pieces and lay them out by using the unroll serve command unroll srf okay and you might want to decide whether you want to explode the result or not so i think i want to click the explode equal yes and i want to have label so that you can see the result with their corresponding position on the original form Okay, so select this, enter. It might take a while. Okay, it's done. I can see that all the individual pieces has been created, and they are numbered in such a way that the numbering system corresponds to the position on the original object. So, uh, by referring to this file, you are able to get the pieces that are created and relocate them onto the position on the original object okay so uh, assuming now that um, you are done with this and you want to get the uh, curves from these pieces so that you can bring them to further processes such as 2d cutting using tools such as castmate uh, we can do so by first selecting 
these objects. Okay, I think I'm going to deselect the original one by pressing Control key. Okay, and having only the flattened pieces selected. Okay, let me just hide the rest. Okay, we can convert, or rather, we can extract the boundary of these pieces using this command. This duplicate border okay it's done and then with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye